Hey, it's J.D. Cannon. We're in the video lounge here at our third annual Pepsi Hank Fest, and we're glad that you're all here today. And we're really glad that this young lady is here. What do you think? D does she look good? Does she look skinny? Does she look oh pretty? Oh, my gosh, stop it. I decided to wear shorts on a cold day, but we're going we're gonna to make it work today. <laughs> one, of the other, one of the other problems with that is there's curling competition going on right next door, so we're out here. Why didn't you tell me? I would have brought my ice skates, and I was <laughs> ice skating with them. Are you an ice skater? Yeah, I'm actually a figure skater. Seriously? I'm just kidding. I'm really not. I, I thought you, maybe you'd look good out there pirouetting <laughs> and doing the figure eight. Oh, my God. That'd be awful. I'd, I'd bust my butt for sure. We know, of course, we know Ray Lynn. She was a finalist on season two of The Voice. Do you, like, still have Blake Shelton's phone number in your cell of phone? Of course. I love Blake. Why don't you, let's whip it out and give him a call and see what he's doing. I don't, he's probably doing The Voice right now. He's so. I'm thinking he's probably Sunday afternoon. This Sunday. time, well, he's actually, probably no, out no, no, killing no, no, no. animals. He's probably killing animals. Yeah, he's probably in his, um, in his little... What are they? Oh my gosh, why can't I even think of it? Oklahoma. Oh, and his no, no, deer, no, 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 his no, no. deer, deer blind. Stand, deer stand, his deer, deer blind. blind. Yes. Yeah, deer stand. Blonde moment. Oh my Jesus. Do you ever wish that maybe you'd gone with Team, team Adam? No, but I will tell you, I think if uh, <laughs> I think if I would have been on this last season, I might would have picked Miley Cyrus just because I was a big Hannah Montana fan growing up. But And I used to like sing Best of Both Worlds to the top of my lungs. I think that'd be the only person I would pick other than Blake. No, but I'm so glad that I picked Blake because. Everything happened for a reason. It sure does. Now, one of the other things I understand about you is, is you're kind of an outfit girl. You're going to follow in the tradition of Reba and Carrie Underwood, and you're very meticulous about your stage clothes. Yes, I'm very particular about what I wear on stage, especially the more sparkles, the better. Hence why I'm wearing sparkly shorts right now, even though it's cold. Um, but I love, I love definitely coming up with cool tour outfits and, and that aspect, because I think it's a really big part of our art is, is the way we look on stage. I think one time at a Reba McIntyre show, mm -hmm. we counted 14 different costume I love changes. That. So that would I be love Ray that. Lynn then someday. Maybe. I don't know if I could do 14. That's a lot of zipping, a lot of people tugging on you. But I, I maybe do like a couple, maybe like three. Watch one day when I do 14, you're going to be like, remember that time I told you? And I was, so. <laughs> now, since the last time we saw you, haven't you gone and gotten engaged? I'm married. You're married? I got married in February, February 27th. I missed that somehow. I know. Can I'm, we, I'm now see, a Davis. Can we see the sparkler? Yes. The middle diamond was my mama's, and then he got the setting made around oh, it's it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. He's, what's, what's, your idea he's amazing. Of, what's your idea of the perfect man? What makes him so amazing? I think what makes him so amazing is he's so um, set in the person that he is. He doesn't apologize for the person that he is. He's so sweet. He loves Jesus, which is a big thing for me. And he's a southern boy. Like, you know, he's all about, like, even though we like to do fun, fancy, like, we go to fancy dinner sometimes, but sometimes we just like to, like, go get McDonald's and watch Netflix. Like, he's just so much fun, and I, uh, I couldn't imagine my life without him. I've known him since I was 18 years old, so it's amazing to be honestly married to your best friend. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll go right from that, from being happily married into your, your current single, Love yes. Triangle. Yes. What's the story behind that song? So I wrote Love Triangle when I was... 18 years old about my perspective of my parents divorce and how it felt to be stuck in the middle of the two people you love the most your mom and your dad and when I wrote this song I honestly didn't think that it was gonna be a single I just thought it was something that I needed to write for myself for some personal healing on my parents divorce but when I found out that over 51 percent of marriages end in divorce I knew that that wasn't just my story but so many of my fan stories and I'm so glad that I've led with this song with my record because it's just been impacting so many people and as an artist I don't think you can ever lose by being vulnerable and wearing your heart on your sleeve and I'm really glad that this is my single. It's an incredible song. Thank it's you. doing so well Thank on the charts. You. Maybe your first number one. I know hopefully in Jesus name I'm praying every day. <laughs> Warner Brothers recording artist Ray Lynn we love to have her here at Pepsi Hank Fest. Thanks for your time. Thank you.